day. What's up? A 78-year-old retired CIA agent on his deathbed has admitted that he killed Marilyn Monroe as part of a CIA operation. This man who had top level security clearance is now coming clean saying that there was a lot of killings that the CIA was behind. He also claims he killed 37 other people, but Marilyn Monroe was the only female he ever killed. He says he was ordered to kill Marilyn Monroe and make it look like a drug overdose. And for those of you who don't know, Marilyn Monroe died of a drug overdose. She OD'd on a sort of sleeping pill. The FBI is apparently taking his claims very seriously and they're launching an investigation into this. He carried out these assassinations from 1959 to 1972. He says this all happened at a time when the CIA had its own agenda. They decided to kill Marilyn Monroe because as well as sleeping with Kennedy, she also was thought to have slept with Fidel Castro. And the fact that she slept with Fidel Castro made her a threat in the eyes of the CIA. They said she was a threat and she could give them vital information, so they decided to make it look like an overdose and kill her. And Norman was the one that had to do it. He claims he snuck into her room on the night she died while she was sleeping and injected her with a massive dose of drugs. I guess what we can learn from this story is don't piss off the CIA, because apparently they've been killing a lot of people. What we don't know is if he's telling the truth or not. But what do you guys think? Do you think that this this CIA agent actually killed Marilyn Monroe, or do you think he's just lying on his deathbed? This just makes me think about all the famous people that have died of drug overdoses. Did Chris Farley even really overdose on drugs? Maybe the CIA saw him as a threat took him out. Man, there's not enough Chris Farley in my life, though. He died way too early. I bet you they tried to kill Charlie Sheen, but they're just like, God damn it, how much coke does it take to kill this guy? Honestly, whenever I hear about someone who waits till they're on their deathbed to finally admit that they murdered someone, I just hope that that person makes a full recovery and has to do jail time. I think the worst thing I'd do on my deathbed is try to score a hand job from the nurse. Do a dying man his last wish? So I wanted to let you guys know that if you enjoyed this video to hit the subscribe button, the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, then you can do me a favor and tell one of your friends about my videos. And if they enjoy my videos, tell them to subscribe. And in case you didn't know, I'm going to be live streaming later tonight, probably like an hour or two after this video goes live. So check out my live stream at twitch.tv slash fluffy for the win.